right, good morning, guys. What's up, man? It's your boy Kareem, the T-shirt professor. All right, so um, I got a I got a little update as far as uh, as far as my machine. All right, so like I told y'all, I had uh, a situation where my daggone machine burned out, or rather, I was able to um, you know isolate the problem and see what what was really going on, and it ended up being uh, uh, this box right here, this relay, this relay box. Um, and you see, you see right here, that joint is pitch black. I mean, that, that joint got burnt up, like, and I think it was because I had it, um, I had my heat press plugged into a same, to the same outlet with a, uh, with my vinyl cutter, which I didn't even realize that at the time that, um, you know, I, I could be, because prior to this, I had always had my heat press uh, plugged up to uh, its own dedicated line. Like I've never had anything else plugged into the same outlet as the uh, as the heat press, and so uh, so that didn't even occur to me uh, why why this you know why this would have happened. I don't know much about electricity, but I do understand when it, there's like an overload of you know just wattage or ampage all of them coming into one um, terminal that that can't be good. So I guess that's what happened. And so anyway, long story short. Like I, I got a new, um, this is the old one. I got a, a new solid state relay uh, from Amazon and I, they sent it in and just this morning, um, you know, I went ahead and, and replaced it. I put the, uh, I took the old one out. This is the old one. And I put the new one, um, the new one in, you know, I just took out the wires and, and just replaced everything the way, um, the way everything was attached to this. And, um, you know, so far I could say that I'm getting good results. See, you see that the machine is actually heating up. The machine is actually heating up. Whereas the last, um, before I made the change, before I changed over the relay, it was uh, going to 70 and not increasing anything over the temperature of 70 degrees. So, um, <laughs> so that, that, that gives me a lot of relief. You know what I mean? I can finally go ahead. I'm, I'm letting that heat up. Um, so I can go ahead and start my, uh, my t-shirt order for, for the school. So I am able to go ahead and, um, um, get that, you know, get that started. Um, you know, cause like I said, I, I don't know what I would have done. Uh, had, had I, I would have probably had to outsource the work, you know what I mean? But, um, as of right now, it looked like everything is good. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I'll go ahead and, uh, and make an attempt to press press a few shirts and uh, just see how that works, okay? Um, but as of right now, man, I was able to get that joint switched out and, um, you know, from the looks of it, get my machine back working again. And uh, so that, that's what I like to do, man. Like, I, I try to, you know, if I, if I have a problem isolate that bad boy, I mean, this is what you guys, you know, if you got a problem with your heat press, just, I don't know, man, I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure none of us are really electricians, you know, um, which is why we chose, you know, this as a hobby, I would imagine, but, uh, you know, just, just, you know, something happens, just, I mean, just look on the inside of the heat press, man, just look at wires, look at, look for anything, any cords that's, that's, um, that's, that's been frayed or, or um, broken or things like that. And just just start there. Just try to replace it, and um, you know, and just just start with that before you get a new machine or before you get somebody to charge your arm and a leg to to fix something as much as a wire that just came loose or something like that. So, you know, always try to do stuff yourself first. I mean, at least that's how I look at it, man. I be trying to save money. I try to save money wherever I can. And so, um, and uh, anyway. Man, listen. I hope this. I hope this helps somebody. It definitely helped me. And uh, you know, this is what uh, this is what these videos is all about. You know, trying to help folks out. Um, Cause I promise you, like I, I did not see one single video on YouTube that explained that um, the reason why my heat press could have um, malfunctioned or wasn't heating up is because um, because of this. Because this was, was one of the problems. You know what I mean? Anyway, so let me go ahead and uh, let this heat machine start heating up or finish heating up, and I'll go ahead and start my pressing and get this uh, get this daggone uh, order done, and uh, we'll just kind of knock it out like that. 
All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you guys. I just wanted to give you guys a, uh, an update on what was going on with my heat press. And uh, this has been another video by the T-shirt professor. And as usual, happy T-shirt printing, guys. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.